The Olympics are a very serious aspect of each country's image to other countries around the world. It's an amazing time of the year when it comes around and it's super important to everyone if you do well. On today's video, we'll be going over Russia's disgrace as two decades of dominance came crashing down and other gymnastic news. First up is bias judging allegations. The first thing to uncover regarding Russia's disgrace is their expression of outrage over what they have said is bias judging. This, of course, is in regards to the Olympic rhythmic gymnastics. During the Olympic Games this year in Tokyo, we saw Israel's Lenoy Ashram claiming victory over the three-time world champion Dina Avrina from Russia. This brought to an end Russia's dominance in the Olympic sport. They really aren't happy about being beaten, but is their outrage over supposed bias judging valid? There are lots of issues with the judging, but it doesn't seem to be biased. This is the first time a Russian has failed to win a gymnastic Olympic event since 1996. Next up is Avarina thinks things aren't fair. With the prominent Russians involved in the Olympics saying that the judges are being biased, it's safe to assume that the athlete herself would have something to say about what happened. She said in interviews that she did not think it was fair for the Olympic sport. It was also said by some Russian people involved in the games that it was simply a disgrace to rhythmic gymnastics. According to some, it also seems like the games have moved on from Russia and they got tired of them. This is due to many reasons, but the main one seems to be, well, we're going to cover that next. Russia banned from Olympics. We saw Vladimir Putin himself hail the performance of Russia's Olympic athletes, who are surprisingly competing under a neutral banner this year. This is because Russia was banned from the Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games after they were found guilty of state-sponsored doping. This means that the athletes cannot use the famed Russian flag or even use their national anthem. Despite this, there were still over 300 Russian competitors that were allowed to compete in the games under the ROC moniker. This is one of the reasons they're thinking that the judges were biased against them. It, you know, it could be true, but there are no pieces of evidence to substantiate the claim. Now on to some other gymnastic news. Famed Olympic twins thrilled at their school grades. Two famed Olympic British twins were recently in the news for something other than their Olympic wins. The two received their GCSE results on Friday with everyone else in the UK and both received passes. These two have been known for their Olympic bronze wins. They both got bronze medals in Tokyo alongside their teammates Alice Kinsella and Amelie Morgan. They were the first woman to win an Olympic gymnast team medal for Great Britain since 1928. These two are the two next generation of British gymnasts, so it's great to see them doing well in their academics. We're going to be seeing a lot of them in the next few Olympics. Next up is false allegations. Simone Biles is an American gymnast who recently announced she was on medication for ADHD. This doesn't seem like news, but what came next was something awful. For the 2020 Tokyo Olympics, she recently pulled out and said it was to focus on her mental health. With this came lots of claims that the Japanese government and Olympic teams didn't let her take medication for ADHD as is widely banned in Japan. This was completely wrong, as Japan gives special exemptions to their banning for athletes who compete in Olympics. This just shows how the internet can run wild with something like this. Next up, Sunisa Lee's golden medal win for the USA. Sunisa Lee is a new Olympic gymnast who recently just won gold at the Tokyo 2020 Games in the gymnastic all-around section. But who is she? Everything else. This medal definitely means a lot to me because there was a point in time where I wanted to quit and I just didn't think I would ever get here, including injuries and stuff. She is a new gymnast who went after her passion and finally got into gymnastics. She has had lots of troubles on her way to the Olympics, but it was all worth it for the USA team and herself. She competed in all around and won gold despite the shakeup with Simone Biles. It's great to see a new gymnast doing so well, and she's clearly a part of the next generation of gymnasts for the upcoming games. Next up is gymnasts being urged to speak out about abuse. Recently, we have seen the closure of a helpline which launched back in 2020. The helpline is for gymnasts and other Olympians to call if abuse has been going on. Even though this is being shut down, the gymnasts around the world are still being urged to speak out about abuse in the industry. Um, with post-traumatic stress disorder. Over the years, she says she was hit, shut in a stall cupboard, forced to train while injured. The helpline was dedicated to reporting abuse, so this sort of thing still needs to be spoken about. This is sad news, but if people know, they should still be talking about it. We might get some justice for what's been going on. Multiple Olympians have come out and explained to people that they still need to be talking about abuse in the industry. Hopefully more people will come out about it. Next up is Piers Morgan blasts Simone Biles and offers her career advice. British newscaster Piers Morgan, who is well known for his takes on celebrities and the sporting world, I roll, has started blasting Olympian Simone Biles for leaving the Olympic Games. We saw Simone Biles leave the Games because of mental health issues and wanting to deal with them on her own. Physical 
physically I feel good. I'm in shape. Um, emotionally, that kind of varies on the yeah. time and the moment. Piers is known for his insane takes, most deathly, and very specific ones at that. Piers voices specific fury over the Olympian by saying, are mental health issues now the go-to excuse for any poor performance in elite sport? What a joke. This take wasn't taken very well by people online and it received more hate, as he usually does. What do you think about what he said? For me, again, huge eye roll. Next up is BBC forced to apologize for technical difficulties. During the men's gymnastics in this year's Tokyo 2020 Olympics, the BBC had technical difficulties when broadcasting the games. The broadcasters lost their coverage whilst the games were going on and they were completely startled. The commentators had to apologize by saying, we've lost our pictures, we lost our pictures. They went on to say, sorry everyone, we're back on and thankfully, David Beliavsky is still on the pummel horse. Thankfully, they didn't lose it for long, otherwise we might have seen a worse breakdown of the broadcast. The BBC are the main broadcasters in the UK, so if things went wrong, it wouldn't be a good look for them. And finally, revelations coming out from the past. Our final piece of news is going to over some news coming out about the past of gymnastics Olympic scene. It recently came out through the release of Nadia Komanaki's book based on documents from police files that something bad was occurring in the Olympic scene. In the book, we see that the gymnastic legend Nadia Komanaki was slapped and starved by her coaches so she can train perfectly for the Olympics. With this and more claims for coming out from other Olympic sources. It just shows how corrupt and awful even things like this can be behind scenes. Hopefully more people come out and tell their stories to the world. And that is the end of the list. The Olympics overall have been amazing this year, even with its controversial moments. Gymnastics especially has been the star of the show for so many people. It's one of the best years yet for the sport as it opened up the possibilities for new contenders to the throne. From what we've seen in this year's Olympic Games, the next two games are going to be amazing. So many new talent people have shown up and we're excited to see what they do in the future. This is especially true to the gymnastics scene as it's definitely a sport for younger people. Every year we get new people to the sport and they show the world just how amazing gymnastics can be. This year especially shows the new talent coming to the world. The next few games are going to show the main gymnast evolution and growth as they'll be much older the next time it comes around. This is mainly true for the 16 year old British twins we spoke about on today's list. Their next few games are going to show how much effort and work they put into the sport. The gymnastics scene has also seen some controversy this time around. Some were from the actual games themselves and some were from the past. The ones from this year just show how much the world needs to grow when it comes to mental health and people telling their stories. No thanks to Piers Morgan. The Olympics are very secretive when it comes to training so hopefully these people speak out more in the future. Thanks for watching, take care, and until next time.